Welcome in Aquarius. You really just came in and stole the show because I was really supposed to do Sagittarius and then Spirit swooped in and was just like Aquarius. And I was like, oh, okay. All right, so welcome in Aquarius. Today we're just gonna be seeing what Spirit has to say to you guys today. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel here. Interact with me. Let me know if this, if you agree or disagree with the energy. Um, please know this is for all Aquarius placements. However, just take what resonates with you, okay? All right, so let's start off with an oracle for you guys. Can I get an oracle from my Aquarius? You have Kuan Yin. Kuan Yin. And you have Let It Go air signs problems <laughs> not just you but gemini aquarius and libras in general you guys um have a hard time with letting go um it's like you get fixated on something or you become very attached to something um whether you want understanding whether it's because of your loyalty or it's just um dedication and time that was put into something whatever it may be emotional Spirit is saying to let it go, okay? Um, however, intuitively, what Spirit is telling me with this card, let it go, and I'm, I'm hearing this right now. Spirit is saying, release your essence. You no longer have to hold it in. You no longer have to hide it. Release your essence. There is something about you that is very graceful. There's something about it that is very, I don't know. It's like, I just see somebody like swaying, okay? It, it's just giving me release your essence, okay? Allow yourself to be, okay? Um, for somebody here, I don't know what Aquarius this is, but the reason why spirit is telling you to release your essence is because you've been attached to a sucker fish or a sucker fish has attached itself to you and spirit is saying that this sucker fish has damn near sucked all the life out of you this could be an energy sucker but they suck the life out of you because they have some kind of issues within themselves. And even though you could have let this person go, you could have released this person, you could have released the issue, whatever it may be, spirit still feels like you haven't been able to fully release your essence. I have no idea what this is meaning. I was going to look it up and be like, what does release your essence mean? Because, like... What is that? Hold on, because now I'm curious. I want to see if I can look this up. Okay, we're gonna look this up together. Let's see what it says. Okay, so what is the spiritual meaning of essence? Essence in soul meets as pure consciousness. Essence is the true nature of who we are when we are relaxed and authentic, when we are not pretending to be one way or another, consciously or unconsciously. It is the truth of our very presence, the purity of our consciousness and awareness. Hmm. It's a set of quality traits or characteristics that make you who you are. Release your essence. Be you. Okay? Don't let no motherfucker break you down. Make you feel less than. That sucker fish is no longer on you. You no longer have to walk on eggshells. You no longer have to try to appease somebody. This is the year where you're getting back to you. Okay, 
And I'm not going to say back to the old you because we all evolve. And whatever it was that you guys went through was a learning lesson. And I feel like this wasn't just something that happened in 2023. This is something that happened. It could have been like between four to six years that you were dealing with this individual, this situation, whatever it may be that was kind of draining the life out of you, a job or whatever, where you kind of lost sight of who you are. You lost um, your essence. You lost your personality, um, you lost your, your vision, your drive, your enthusiasm, whatever it may be, it, it just seems to have been lost, okay? So we're going to see what Spirit has to say for you, Aquarius. Two of Swords, okay? All right, Aquarius, sorry, I had a... A little minor incident had to go handle it all right so we're back um we're gonna see what's going on what spirit has to say to you guys so far we have this two of swords in reverse in the hangman you know what um who is that capricorn just had the hangman as well okay what is the message for you guys Let me do one more card for my... Oh, that's so disrespectful. Mm, magician. With the, t with the lovers in reverse here. There's a disconnection here that serves such of a higher purpose for you guys. Okay. Um, Something here with this lovers in reverse is telling me, Aquarius, that you guys had to disconnect with this false perception of yourself. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys have already done that. And what I'm saying or what I'm meaning with those of you guys who've already done that is that you've recognized and have admitted that you've lost yourself in the light of somebody else um, or a situation or an environment. It kind of took a toll on you guys um, with this lovers in reverse. Some of you guys could have disconnected not only from the realities of you, your essence, but you also disconnected from you. Okay? You disconnected from you. And for many of you, with this two of swords in reverse, it gets the energy that you knew that somebody had you changing. You knew that you were fighting a battle where you were ready for war. You were ready to fight for a different outcome. You were willing to pull out the receipt. You were basically willing to go there in order to stand proudly with a different outcome. It's like you didn't want a disappointing outcome. So you kind of disconnected from yourself, disconnected from the reality of the situation here. And the Two of Swords is just saying that you kind of just became distant. You became... Um, I'm not going to say blind because you knew exactly what's going on. You were just hopeful for a different outcome, okay? But with this disconnection from this situation, this person and everything, the blindfold was removed and you were able to have these changes and these necessary things to be removed um, from your life. You were able to break free and start finding yourself in this darkness uh, removing yourself from this dark place and start a new beginning, um, new dreams, new aspirations, um, finding yourself as well. And that's why they're telling you to let go of your essence. You also have the hanged man here, okay? And I look at this card and I just see you guys freeing yourself. Freeing yourself from all the messiness all the drama and I just think of vermin okay um 
when I worked in storage facilities, when we would go into a unit and it had rat poop, what we call vermin on it, we would tell people that it was no longer valuable. Um, it was no longer worth anything. If there's vermin in there, um, pooping and peeing on your shit is no longer valuable. It's no longer, um, it's just worthless basically, okay? It's, of, it's, it's not of worth. And the only way to probably save it is if you recognize it early on in the stages and you take it somewhere to get clean. Otherwise, you're going to contaminate everything else that's around it. And I feel like you guys have allowed yourself to break free of those, um, those who would allow you to be um, who you are. Those who wanted you to be small and little because they seen your worth. They seen the energy within you. Even if you didn't see, even if you seen it within you and then you felt like you had to tone it down or it was just the contamination of the other people and the other environments around you that caused you to kind of like hold back. I feel that changing for you guys now, especially in 2024. Um, Spirit wants me to let you know that there is nothing that you can do with this magician card. There is nothing that you can do by going into places with vermin and trying to make it clean. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to word this, okay? Basically, you can't go back to what you left behind. You can't go back to the things that broke you. You can't go back to the things that belittled you. You can't go back to the things that made you hold back your true essence, okay? The things that made you feel like you were crazy. The things that made you feel like you were worthless. The things that made you lose your passion. The things that made you lose sight of you. They're saying not to go back, okay? You cannot help certain situations. If I'm just a regular person and I'm going into my unit and I see that there's vermin, I either have to trash my stuff or I have to find me a professional, right? But once I get my stuff cleaned or once I buy new furniture or whatever stuff and it's time and I gotta store that stuff, I'm not gonna go back to the same unit, right? If it hasn't been treated. Are you following me? So the spirit is saying that Aquarius, you may love these people dearly. You may love this area dearly. You may love the environment dearly or whatever. You have some kind of strong connection to this person, place or thing, whatever it may be. You have some kind of attachment because you genuinely love it. But until you allow God to handle them, to sit them down and reshape their mind and let them go through these things and although it might hurt because this person might turn their back on you this person may talk about you this person may whatever be in a delusional state whatever it may be it's just like nothing that you can do will clear out the vermin this is strictly a job for god let god handle them and watch when time is due, how things will play out, okay? Don't focus on that. This connecting right now is the only thing that's going to allow you to move forward. I know you want to go back and visit them. I know you want them to see how much you've accomplished. I know you want to show off. I know you, you're you reminiscing on things, but give it time. Give it time before you go in, Okay? So Aquarius, release your essence. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, thank you for chilling with the garden.